sempe, them go sempe. Nobody messing with my boo. Robo ske ske, robo ske ske. If no be you, then tell me who. Robo ske ske, robo yes ke. Nobody messing with my boo. July has been very good to us. Not only is it our birthday month, today marks a hundred episodes of hashtag WTF to me. Cheers! Yeah, man. What a week we have had, not without its challenges, but more about that later. President Cyril Ramaphosa has been very busy. This weekend, he traveled to KZN to reassure King Zuelitini, it's King Goodwill Zuelitini, that he won't be grabbing any of the land under the Ingonyama Trust, just as a sign of goodwill. <laughs> See what I did there? The king had previously threatened that the Zulu nation would leave South Africa and take KZN with him, should their land be targeted. Heck, can you imagine a South Africa with no Zulus? Not a single Zulu person. No Nomza Mombat. No Vusikunen. No Celeste Ntuli. No taxis on the road, do. And where would they take KZN to? Hmm? To New Zealand. Hey, at least now the all blacks would literally be all black. <laughs> Sticking with KZN, the Durban July was this weekend. Wow. You know that weekend was the strong one for the side cheeks and the sad one for the wives. Reports are that explosive devices were planted and detonated on the fringes of the event on Saturday. Hmm. I can't believe I missed it. And the Durban July clearly was the bomb. But I would be remiss not to uh, uh, take a look at some of the highlights of the fashion that was on, on display. First of all, Zodwawe Venom attended. Uh, 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 she, she looked like she put some of that Vaseline on the dress also. Uh, so too did a mother and her baby. I, I actually have no words. But it wasn't all doom and gloom. Dineo Ranaka looked like a snack. Pork crackling. Ooh, yeah, when you move from slay queen to slaughter queen. Yes, nah. We have an awesome show tonight. Um, besides Naomi cancelling on us, Simpiwe Dana is in the building. But first, Glenn, what's the WTF of the day? Mm. Hello, uh, good evening and happy Monday, Mzanzi. The hashtag WF of the day today to me is witchcraft takes over football. Have a look at this. We'll talk in a second. Witchcraft. That is definitely, definitely witchcraft. In fact, I'm going to try that the next time before I go out to the club. Before I go out, I'm going to stand in my doorway and go, all of the ladies, all of the ladies, all of the ladies, all of the ladies. <laughs> okay, it's enough, love. Okay. If, you, if you don't stop, I'm going to have to come over there and slap you. <laughs> now, <laughs> ah, you know what is witchcraft, Glenn? Naomi Campbell cancelled on us. Then Tiwa Savage arrives on the show and then drives out. Now, for what reason was that? Now? Apparently, she has a headache. A headache? She's tired because she's done many interviews. She has a headache. Oh, goodness gracious. Well, we're going to have fun anyway, I think. I'm actually glad because now we've cleared the aura and the chi so we can welcome true greatness into this space. You understand? Because at hashtag WTF to me, we are about gravitas. So please help me welcome this guest. Now, she is an award-winning artist, hey? an Afro-feminist and futurist. Ladies and gentlemen and everyone in between, I give you Simpiwe Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Please spin the wheel. That's very safe. Please spin the wheel and then grab a seat. Be gentle with her. Just go. Oh, that's too gentle. <laughs> Is that it? Wow, okay, grab a seat. Grab a seat. I love where it's landing. Oh my god. I'll tell you what's gonna happen after you sit down. 
I you love are. your dress. Thank you. Uh, Glenn, what's in Piwe drinking? So I've got some Piwe, uh, it's called a some Piwe Downer. That's what it's called. <laughs> oh, wow. uh, uh, it's, a, it's a play on your downer. name. And you have to just, you, you have to some Piwe Downer that Isn't before I get... Short? Yes, mm -hmm. before your real drink is coming along here. Okay, this is sparkling wine. I can do that. Yeah, can you kill that? Shall I do it now? Yeah, what? Or later? Please do it now so that he can give you your real drink. <laughs> Down it, okay. down it, down it, Cheer. down it, down it. Yeah. Yes. I can go clubbing with her any day. So we have definitely stopped on truth. Oh. And what happens with truth. Oh, thank you very much. Is you have to tell us the truth. It's completely illegal to do this. But if it was legal, what would you do? What's that? What's the one illegal thing which if it was legal, you would definitely do it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ah, wow, okay. You know, I'm such a good girl, like, I don't <laughs> do illegal things. You are such a good girl. So what's that one illegal thing you challah sometimes? Have you ever wanted to break somebody's kneecaps, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, 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 I think that um, there has been a, a few times, like, we live in a terrible country, so it's really like a terrible example on such an amazing show. But um, there are a lot of people that look at young girls a certain way like a lot of old mm -hmm. men that look mm -hmm. at young girls a certain way and sometimes when i find them doing that i wish i could break their kneecaps definitely there we go <laughs> <laughs> well thank you for not cancelling on us last minute thank you for that professionalism you know what i, I, I would not be drawn into <laughs> into like I'm you have kidding. a lot of shade but, right okay, now but let's be honest as artists we know that it happens right it happens mm -hmm. you're sick you're tired you're Whoever your PR people are may have given you more than you can chew, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. But don't you feel like you have a choice, though? Like, I don't know. How, how, what, what, how do you deal with such situations? If you were, like, me first, would you? Uh, well, firstly, um, I w would firstly try and not confirm something that I'm not sure if I'll be able to do. Absolutely. That's one. And secondly, the minute I find out I cannot do it, then I would try and let everyone know. Mm. Right, but I also believe that it is very important to always show my best side. So even if I get here and then I'm not feeling well, mm. I would not want to come on and I know that I, I won't give my best. Ah, so that makes it, sense. you know, like there, 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 yes. there are many dynamics. Yes. Yeah. But you communicate this to your yes. people or yes. whoever's in charge. Yeah, but, but, I'm but just but asking. At times it, it happens last minute. Yes. You know, it's happened to me. I mean, I've, I've been booked for interviews and missed them before. Yeah. But I, I do believe I give due warning and. In fact, you were, uh, you were actually, I'd li like to bring this up on air, and I'm sorry, Simpiwe, but you were on air on, an, on, on a radio interview the other day, okay? And a friend of mine was listening, and you, d you did the whole interview about the show, and you didn't mention me once. <laughs> Why do you think that was the case? <laughs> when did I do a whole interview about Dolby TF to me? I don't know when it was. There's a guest here. You know what this is like? It's like <laughs> if we invite someone for dinner, and then the wife and the husband start fighting in front of the guest. Wouldn't you agree? Like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Some privacy, like maybe Let, take a break. Let's go to ad break back. and we'll. Uh... Yeah, let's <laughs> rather go to ad break and resolve this later. We'll be back just now. <laughs> oh wait, hello, wait, who? What's that now? Is it Sivena surprises again? Hello, 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 H hello, hello. Who's Did that? that? Hi, can I speak to Tumi? To me, to me. Hey, going. hi. Who calls me to me? Hi, it's Chris Forrest here. How are you doing? <gasps> oh my gosh, that's my Chris. Are you fully dressed? Last time you were here, your bum was out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that, that you remember that still forever. It's, uh, uh, it's, it's something that uh, that's something that I'll never forget uh, <laughs> as, uh, as long as I live. Uh, hi, Chris. Nice to, nice to see you. Well, speak to hi, you. Hi, what was your name again? This is Glenn, uh, Glenn Beatman <gasps> Fab. <from laughs> I'm just joking. By the, by the way, Chris Forrest is not the two of But anyway, I just phoned to, uh, to wish you guys happy. Is it your 100th show and your birthday? Yes, thank you so much, Uncle Chris. I'm, I'm absolutely loving it still from episode one right up until now. Uh, Tumi are my favorite Tumi in the whole world. Aww. And Glenn, you are in the top five, Glenn. Um, enjoy this. I'll take that. Thank you very much, Chris. I'll <laughs> take that any so day. Thank you so much, Chris Forrest. Woohoo! Time for a nap break. More with Simpiwa when we return. <laughs> I'll drink
it hurts. Right, well, welcome back to hashtag WTF to me. Don't forget to hit us up on social media at WTF to me. We are celebrating our first birthday and bonding with Zoom P. Well, <laughs> send us your birthday wishes uh, using the hashtag WTF turns one. Honey bunny child, let me tell you something. <laughs> so, as in, as in your ego. <laughs> I had never heard of you or your music and we were studying at Wits University and my husband, I noticed, was always listening to the same song. It was actually the same voice. I recognized your voice. And then I noticed your CD, it was gorgeous. I just remember blue and this beautiful black woman on the cover with this big, like that long hat. It was gorgeous, right? And my husband's telling me about this Simpiwa Dana. And, and he's like, it's so deep, babe. It's beautiful. And this is a man who was listening to like your punk rock or <laughs> sning -ning hip hop. Mm -hmm. or, um, are you aware that the people who've listened to you have been such unexpected um, fans? I think for me, that's ha that has been the one amazing thing that I've noticed. Um, how special the people that love my music are in their own right. Mm. Um, from when it was still um, a cappella, mm. just like at home I recording. Love you like. Oh my God, I love you like. And you know, s s like the the, the, the the caliber of people that love my music is really amazing. And it spans, you know, all kinds of, um, what do you call them again? You know, like when you brand it. Spectrum. S spectrum, but like there's this word, there's this one word where it's like this group and this group and this group, right? But mm. it spans. Demographic. Demographics. Hey, Skoa, well you. done. <laughs> you see, I knew he was good for something. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Our English, our English clocks out at so, 8 p.m. Thanks for helping. <laughs> so yeah, like it spans all, 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 all the demographics. Yeah. Um, it finds, you know, fans and support in, in, in all different ones. So oh. that's been the, the amazing journey, like oh. part of it. Okay. Well, when you confirmed you were coming, we decided to ask um, some people online, um, some, well, what, what one word uh, they thought of to describe you. Okay, mm. and so we've collected a few of those words. Take a look, and you can tell us which ones you agree with. No, no, we we that that's I don't think that's happening. Why? Uh, they the 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 it was a it was the, we did it for the wrong person. So, but if you were to describe yourself uh, in one word, what would that be? Or rather, can I ask you this question? If you were to write a song about your life, what would the title be called as we speak? Oh yeah. Well, if the title were to be in English, I think it would be demure. Demure. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's 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 a nice demure. word. That like means shy. Well, it means more than just shy. It just means I think for me it means centered, calm, mm. um, contained, contained, and in control. Mm. Okay, and and uh, I from what I know about you, there's a lot of sort of wokeness that is that surrounds you. You know that word. Yes, right? yes this you. one. Yeah. This one. He is, he, is, he is the white people's ambassador to <laughs> black Twitter. <laughs> but, uh, does do, you, do, are you, do, you, do you agree with that, though, when people call you a woke musician? I do agree with it. Yeah. Um, especially when it's not meant in a sarcastic manner or yeah. derogative in some way. Plus, when you stand your ground, eh? You pa pa there on Twitter. Nobody messes with you. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I do believe that like there's a time to speak, yes, and then there's a time to not say anything. Yeah, you know there are battles. Like, you, you don't have to fight all, all the battles. Them. Yeah, but if you do choose to fight a battle, then go all out in, in that fight. You are raising a teenage daughter. Are you finding that you have to remind yourself that thing a lot? Um. You know, how I raise my, my children is that I've given them a lot of autonomy over their own space, mm. so, you know, their own bodies. I can see that. I mean, you've given her autonomy over her hair. Yeah. That I is know. a lot of hair. Dude, that <laughs> picture, I was like, oh my God, that is a lot that. of hair. Well, that was before we cut it. <laughs> <laughs> we, we obviously had to cut it, but she actually did her own hair. Like, wow. um, she's Did she grow all of that hair on her own scalp? Grow, really, darling? Really? Grow? Did you just say grow? 
Oh, thank goodness. Wow. No, it looks real. Wow. I'm dumb when it comes to hair. She ah. did her own hair. It's just like she braids it at the okay. bottom and then she, and she then gives she it out. And then she just the big hair, yeah. So she also is a great cook and oh. she's a, 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 a top student. Wow. Uh, she's just a, a, a nerd who so happens to be talented in many, many, many aspects. And she's gorgeous, man. Doesn't that make you nervous? About what? About, about you know, the thing you're talking about earlier of these guys who just, they are just... Yeah, so, so, so now you see, I'm not nervous about her reaction to all of this attention. I'm just disgusted by those kinds of men and nervous um, about her safety, mm. especially because we live in a country where, you know, children are not safe mm. from predators. Are you a strict mom? Um, no, no, no. Um, I believe in raising kids by example. So I'm not one to hop on my kids, this is what they might, they must do. If I don't walk the talk, then it becomes very difficult for me to say they must walk a talk that I don't walk. Nice. So I, I choose to lead by example, and so far it's, it's worked. My kids are very humble, very down to earth, very loving, and uh, also very protective of, of people around them, and um, responsible and intelligent. And not singing. No. Well, my daughter loves to sing, but it's just one of the things that she does. Aww. She wants to be a doctor, but who also is an actor That's and a, cool a singer on... I'd just like podcast. to interject there and lighten things up a little bit, because I'm dying to know who's sliding into her DM. Oh, yes! So, oh. let's play top three. Wow. Top three. <laughs> right! I'm glad you're laughing because we'll all be laughing together. No, you the will way not. The hashtag top three works, <laughs> ne? Is that we're going to spin that wheel behind you. If you look at the screen behind you, mm -hmm. we're going to spin the wheel, ne? If it lands on Instagram or Twitter, we are going to slide into those DMs. You will three not things. slide into my Twitter DMs. Ah, know. what's happening in there? No, you just draw. <laughs> and if it lands on the bag, we're going to look for three things in your handbag that you must explain. <laughs> Let's spin the wheel. Oh, Ooh, handbag. handbag. Okay, I know you put your handbag here somewhere. Is this what? it? Let's see what illegal thing she might I be doing. I hope there's nothing alive in that handbag. Alive, eh? <laughs> when they start warning you about Mamlambo, guys, I'm not messing around there. Eh? I'm Pondo. I'm Pondo, so <laughs> be careful. Hey? Be careful, I'm Pondo. Your Pondo, what does that even mean? Are the people of Pondo famous for snakes? They're top three people that Tagata in this country. I'm Pondo, really? Zulu, and Venda. <laughs> Claps once. <laughs> Find holy water. <laughs> Jeez, man. Yo, it's, it's such there. a frugal bag. It's, if you could see what she calls a mess, I would hate to come to your house because I'd be scared receipt, to eat anything. Papers, but Ooh, lots of lipstick. She rolls with plastic. She, 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 she ain't paid in poverty. She rolling with a black card, oh y'all. Oh, my God. This ain't no other. Has a bank card fair. Like, you're black. You must understand, this is the darkest color you'll ever get in a bank, guys. You, once you're here... You are okay. <laughs> I, I, I know we can see that the albums have been selling well. And on a day <laughs> that she doesn't want to floss, she just pulls out the cord, Baba. Proper fetting herself right now. <laughs> you about that cash. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Why do you have so many keys? I don't have many keys. I have two sets of keys. One is my car keys and the other one my house keys. None of these are car keys, bruh. I really think that you must focus on the lipsticks, yes? <laughs> Hey, that's my suggestion. This is the lady I want to visit. So, this, <laughs> are you married? Um, was uh, traditionally, yes. but no. Oh, okay. So mm. there isn't one where that locks up a something. <laughs> yeah, so only you and him can open that room, and, <laughs> and then the one that the children can also open. No, no, listen. I don't even have a key on my door. I just me and my kids, okay? And I mean, what is sex? I don't know what that thing is. So, how do you decide which lipstick to wear? I mean. I know women travel with lipstick, but goddamn, girl. Okay, so this is for when she's freaking out like a freaky deaky yummy mommy. <laughs> this one is when she's trying to go dark on your ass. This is me right now. Okay, is that you right mix. now? It's a mix. I love this. Did you mix this and this? No. This is when she goes <laughs> goth up in there. No, Costa. That's Costa. Is this, is this where you go lipstick. pondo and ready to yes. throw a sneaker or lightning <laughs> at someone? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then the others, I am lost. And one of them could actually be a mini vibrator. Let me make sure. Um, oh, Glenn, wow. Why, not it out? why don't you tell us who's your mega crush? What is that? I don't even know what that thing is. <laughs>
Well, our Mega Crush Monday today is David Rees after he confirmed that he was in fact leaving Sieven de Laan after two years because he said it's actually boring. Uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, he goes on to say he used to fall asleep during <laughs> uh, during uh, scenes, which I, I, I mean, I, I do kind of understand you, David, because honestly, the amount of boredom that happens on the set of this show, I honestly, ha! Need, <laughs> Glenn, sometimes I just want to sort of... Glenn, anyway. I'm joking. Guys, um, before I move on, I have to tell you one more thing that I found. Oh, no. This lady does not miss... You know there are levels in life. She flies business. She oh, wow. Here. She ain't about that life. Where did you go? She went to Bahrain. Where did you go for you in Bahrain? Last month? Last week. <laughs> Last week, no hal. Mm. What were you doing there? I was singing. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Business class. Hey, she must be nice. Must be yeah? nice. Wow. <laughs> right. Okay, moving on. <laughs> okay, are we going to play a game or are we going to go... Oh. Uh, hello? Hello? This is WTF speaking. If you are Anele, we are full. No, what? Hello. Hi. Have I, have I, um, am I, have I reached the right show? Yes, you are live. Would you like... Hi! Uh, yeah, um, hi. Hi. Um, Glenn. Yes, it's this is Glenn Paul. speaking. Who's speaking it's now? Paul. Read the order cue. Did you say an order? Oh, it's my Paul. Oh, oh Paul. wow, look at you. <laughs> wow, she does, she's forgotten my voice. Baby, what, well, baby, I leave, are you what back? Happens? You I mustn't you sleep. For one hour and you forget my voice. Oh, baby. <laughs> I'm glad you're back, baby. I hope you're doing your stretches because you've been in Gramstown for too long. Mama, <laughs> I'm, oh. To me. <laughs> to me. Oh, oh it's all tonight. Babe. Oh, no, no, God! Babe. It's like but caring. Baby, baby, I just told Simpiwa about that CD you had of her. Yeah, oh, I love Simpiwa, Dana. Listen, I love her. I love you. I love you so much. Thank, Thank you so you. much okay, for coming. Stop. First birthday. Stop. <laughs> Happy birthday, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Mpo. Thank you, Mpo. I love you, too. You guys are, are, are killing it. Keep, keep it up. Keep it on. <laughs> Thanks, Mpo. Thanks, baby. You need your rest. I'm yeah, coming man. home, Pella, just now. Rest. <laughs> wow, let's go to ad break while I call my husband back and find out why she, he has to tell Simpio he loves her so many times. <laughs> That's great. That's awesome. Back. This is hashtag WTF to me. We are sipping on a little zam zam with Simpiwe <laughs> Dana. <laughs> um, right, Simpiwe. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to ask you. Okay, I don't want to mention names or anything, um, because you are very, very composed, and we've touched a little bit on this. That you are s savage with your clapbacks on Twitter. What makes you boil on Twitter? Um, I'm not petty when I do mini, so I'm I'm not doing things because of my pettiness or attention or anything like that. Um, but I get my triggers at times, and usually when I snap, it's because you know I've been triggered psychologically yeah. because of things that have happened to me, um, and sometimes with those people being involved or not. Yeah. But um, I, yeah, you're very right. I'm I'm, I'm quite composed, but I I've got my moments. Does it surprise people? Do you think people are surprised that you? I, I think it surprises like everyone <laughs> uh, all, all the time because they know me as this very chilled and. and but you, I'm sure you move on very quickly and you forgive. No, easily. So once the outburst is done, yeah, it's over. So does know. that mean Black Coffee can now remix your song? Dude, like there was no issue with Black Coffee. I don't know if people get this. There were no issues. There were none. Zero. My issue was, was it's my record label oh. that gave the song to Black Coffee to remix without my consultation. Oh. So it's not like Black Coffee went and did something wrong. No, 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 no. He was yeah. commissioned. He was commissioned. Yeah. It was my label that didn't tell me. So now I went back to them like, what are you doing? Like, without my permission, pull that song. Oh. So that it's possible that Black Coffee thought I had an issue with the song itself. But no, no, no. I had an issue with my label and not consulting. So you were jumping to the song going, yeah, but... 
Even not, no, 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 but more than that, also, um, it, it was very early on in my, in my career. Yes. So I, and I was coming with a very different sound. Yes. I didn't want my sound to be drowned by the oh. popular sound at the time. And I felt, you know, if I go the house route immediately and, and I'm just introducing myself to the culture, then people will think that that's what they must expect of me. Makes sense. So I needed to introduce who I was yes. intrinsically yes. before I could, you know, have remixes and things like that. No. But, uh, you, 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 you are very vocal about politics. We do know that. Do you think we should Tuma another one? Or <laughs> are we okay? <laughs> what do you think? I, I, I really think that let's just go to elections and decide there what we want to do. Oh, wow. On that note, I think we should play hashtag that's so Madiba. <laughs> so on this game, guys, well, I suppose I should just uh, tell you, on this game, it's pretty simple. I'm going to tell you some facts about Madiba, and you have to tell me whether it is true or, or not true. To me, you will play it as well. Okay. Um, and, um, and, uh, and the loser has to down a shot. Okay, do we have I, the question? I don't mind being the loser. <laughs> <laughs> you might That's hilarious. You might have to ask. Do I have the questions? Okay, I've, I've got the questions. Right, are you ready, guys? Mm -hmm. Yes, we're ready. Okay, so there's a woodpecker named after Madiba. No. Yes. True or not true? True. Not true. You say it's true? Yes. You say it's not true. Uh, you are right. It, it is true. Absolutely true. That is that is correct. So where's my shot? Uh, but no, there's a, at a, the end of the game. I yes. just check. It. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, he was intrigued by soccer, which was rooted in his blood. False. Boxing. Neither. Both correct. Still one nil to Tumi. Number three. He drew his inspiration from a song by Miriam Makeba. Which one? Oh, well, the inspiration, well, I mean, I can't Probably. say. Probably. It makes sense, Impossible. right? Yes. Both of you are wrong. Huh? Still what, uh, he drew his inspiration from a poem called Invictus. That's why. Oh, oh, that yes. movie. Okay. He fled the Eastern Cape for Johannesburg after an arranged marriage was set up for him. How ugly was she? <laughs> oh, he he got married, so that's not true. So the not false. I mean... What it is true. It is move? true. You're no, both no, wrong. Was she, was she like really unattractive? Was she like... Uh, that's or maybe it's, everybody had had a taste and he was like, I don't want... The leader of the Tembu people, uh, Jongi Taba Dalayebo, uh, tried to set up an arranged marriage for him. That's the truth. Oh, okay, wow. and lastly, Mandela's wife, Evelyn Mays, uh, was in fact the breadwinner. True. Obviously before. True. He was a lawyer. Well, I suppose he was studying law. Hey, true. Both of you are right. You are having the shot in the ad break. Yes. Oh, uh, uh, well done, uh, uh, Mazel Tov to you, to me. You have won the That's So Madiba. And you get to keep but, the job. Thank but, you. But, but I get the shot and you don't. <laughs> so you are the real winner at yes. the end of the day. I love your attitude. Thank That's you. how you win. Well, are we going to play hashtag never that? I think it's time for an ad break. Already? You're ready. We just how got here. I know, I'm sorry. Okay, well... Let's take an ad break. You are tuned into hashtag WTF to me. Thanks for all the tweets. Let me read them. Oh my gosh. I feel like those people are doing this, you know, and they're like, <laughs> hey, let me tap dance. Okay. Uh, hi, African chief. Why must you accuse us of such things? And what if both of them did not agree to coming, but WTF to me used them as a PR stunt to get numbers up for the birthday celebration? Kabanga <laughs> Ngati. Ha! 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 African chief, Shoguti, or chef, clearly you've never watched this show to begin with. And second of all, me, I'm educated. I know I can be sued. Why would I lie about people? Don't be stupid. And then, mm, Fortune Nube says, wow, happy birthday, guys. Thanks, Fortune. And then, I love Ian. Ian sent us minions. We've got minions singing. Love your her. I love your work. Um, Sebe Bilisa Koza says, 
Hair, please. LOL. Okay, Sebe, I'll send you hair. Oh my gosh, like all these girls always want all this hair. That's like not even mine. I'm still hanging out with Simpiwe Dana, and we've just been joined by Soweto's finest. But before we jump into them, let's watch this insert. Well, instead of sleeping today, I've decided to take up the challenge. Hashtag WTF Jimmy meets TSA, baby. We're about to burn up them TVs and break the internet. <laughs> we are taking the party to Trending SA to celebrate one year, Baba. One year of hashtag WTF Jimmy. <laughs> it's about to explode. <laughs> the best dancer in my team. Uh... Oh my gosh, the dance routine. I do not like dancing in public. I noticed that all of us can dance. It's gonna have to be me. I'll take that title. Thanks. This is a mess. Ooh, the person I think is most likely to forget the routine once again is me. I think me and Glenn will forget the moves. I've never met a group of people so spicy and so shady in my entire life. I think we'll look like clowns. I can't wait to see my vagina did something when Fagin walked in. Siva is so rich. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Last year this time, I was producing shows. First birthday, honey. What I enjoy the most about working on the show, I think it is seeing everything come together. <laughs> <laughs> we can't dance, all of us, or most of us. We get our inspiration from Glenn, so we'll slay. Glenn is a cool kid. I've worked with him before. I love this woman. He's generous. He's generous with himself, and he's generous with receiving. So he's a freaking cool guy. <laughs> I can do that people don't know I can do and I don't think they're that special. I think maybe it's because I'm doing it then it's like, yo, even you. Yes, even me. The team itself is the best part about being in the team. <laughs> we are headed into the right direction. Do you know how many episodes we had which were like a hit? Happy birthday team. Uh, it's been a great few months with you guys, but I know that the next 100 shows will be even better than this one. Happy 100 episodes. And two more great TV. <laughs> Wow, that was, that was what, uh, firstly, welcome to the show, guys. Hello. Hey, so where are those finest? Uh, we are, we are, first off the bat, I have to know who, who you guys helped us with the dance. So you choreographed it for us yeah. completely. Yeah. Um, I just want to ask off the bat, who was the, the best dancer in that? For me, it was Tumi. Tumi. Good, good. I, I agree with you. <laughs> Thank you. I really, no. Like, you are dope too, though. Like. No, thank you very much. But when, when we first walked in, did you think, oh, sh shit? <laughs> when you walked in, I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> but did you guys think I, I would crack it? No, do you think we'd crack it, though? Weren't you worried? Because when you guys sent the video of the choreography, mm -hmm. I, I honestly freaked out. I was like, we're not doing this. No, I was, I was. I was, I was like, uh oh. <laughs> Uh oh. And that's why you walked gonna, out. I knew you guys were not gonna, were gonna crack it because I mean we are professional choreographers, so yeah. oh. you know, we've had people <laughs> come in. <laughs> hey, so it's too much. We've, we've had people come in with two left feet and come out proper. You oh know, so snap! We're quite good at what we do. I'm yes, sure. you are. You actually are. Thank you. Guys, I did things I didn't know I can do just because they showed me I can do them. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do have to ask though. I mean, you guys have choreographed like world stages. You have choreographed the best music videos we've seen locally. Yeah. Um, which has been your best gig? Um, when we did the closing ceremony, it's a, it's a bit hard to choose, but when we did the, clo the closing ceremony of the World Cup, 2010 FIFA World Cup with Somizi Mklongo. Ah, yo, to me, it was like, oh my God, we, we are about to get So burned. it means at some point you guys definitely did this. 
<laughs> at that thing. Because that's back when every, that was his signature also, move Pesa. in all his stuff. Yes, in yes. everything. I was like, if they do this, Samizu was a choreographer. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah, well, that move was huge though, back then. Well, yeah. what inspired this dance uh, that you guys taught us? How, well, how do you, do you, do you just go with the, with the flow? Do you just do whatever feels natural to you? I know we've got Imotifikile, Baloida Lendile. Was it you who did that? Well, we all did. What inspired that is that, you know, we actually the first dance yeah. group to buy cars, so. Oh, wow. snap! Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. Safa, <laughs> Safa. <laughs> you, you, you've got to, you've got to say, you've got to say, that you must be asked this quite a lot. And when they say, who's the best dancer in the team, is there, is there an answer to that? <laughs> there is. Yeah. They all don't matter. I'm the best. <laughs> they all don't matter. <laughs> like, Beyonce matters. Oh, <laughs> like, wow. Come on. Thanks, Glenn. Um, Simpua, thank you so much for coming. Are we gonna be hearing? Fresh new sounds? Have you thrown a little some some our way? What's <laughs> going on? Actually, um, I've been working since the beginning of the year on some new material. And I'm working on a really good deal right now so that I can bring out the music. So just give me a time. Be patient. I should have at least a single or two out by the end of the year. That's wonderful. And then next year, like a full album. Yeah. So just watch and it's music you wrote yourself, yeah? I write all of my music. Well, most of it. 90, yeah. 98 You've never done a cover, Wayne. You're not a cover girl, Wayne. I actually, you no, I, I do adaptations. For instance, I, 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 I did um, um, uh, a song by Jonas Guangwa called mm. Flowers of the Nation. Oh. And then uh, it's, it's, it's an instrumental song. So yeah. I added lyrics to it. Um, but you never got an entire album. No, 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 no. Um, um, no, no, no. Yeah. no, no but you know what? I get. I actually shelved an album that I was supposed to do that was like that. I just mm -hmm. felt I wasn't giving enough. I and I actually had put so much money into it. I even went to LA to oh my produce goodness. it. But I felt I needed to. Your heart wasn't in there. Well, no, no, no. I just it, it was good, but I felt you know I still have so much more to give of myself yes. before I can settle into doing that kind of self stuff. That makes sense. Well, mm -hmm. thank you for spending time with us Thank tonight. you so much for having me. Phew. So what's going to happen now, Glenn? We are going to take an ad break. After the ad break, we're going to bring the party to you. Oh, wait, now, who's Good. this now? Honestly, the phones are going off the bloody hook. <laughs> Who, hello, speaking. Hello. 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 Hi. Glenn, is this Glenn? This is Glenn, yes. Glenn with the two tenants, Peter Man of the Pen. Oh, wait, this is a comedian. <laughs> is it, is it Pops? Hello, Glenn. Hello, Judy. Hey, I Pops. Happy birthday, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> you, 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 you. <laughs> you, you know how important first birthdays are in the black cult. Explain to Glenn. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about, but I like it. <laughs> I like what you're doing Glenn, there. You, you, you know, we, viewers have been wondering at home, your surname, this two surname thing. How did you get two surnames? Sorry? How did you get two surnames? He wants to know how yeah. many times have you, why do you have two surnames? Why do you have a double parent? Oh, oh, what I meant. Thing. You know, like when you hang on to your surname, but then you add the person you married. No, the reason is because so that uh, you can split the land uh, uh, equally. <laughs> so Biederman can have some and then Pam can have some. That's how we... <laughs> Happy birthday, guys. Thanks, Pops. <laughs> Thanks, Pops. You should come back. Yeah, we miss you. I'm coming back, guys. I'm coming back. Okay, okay. lots of the love, dog. To the streets is I must come. I'm coming back. <laughs> Sharp. Thank you. Bye. Oh, wow. Let's go to ad break. Okay, welcome back for the last time. This is hashtag WTF. To me, uh, the celebrations continue. Ah, oh, sorry. Stop your style, but can't afford <laughs> that kind of insurance. Sorry, sorry. People are watching, it's live, this thing. <laughs> Uh, um, Nigel Mouton, I think, says Soweto's finest is about to be a turn up. Happy birthday, my Tumi and Glenn and Dumi. 
Timmy, drop it like it's hot. I'm going to drop it like it's hot because it is very hot. Um, <laughs> Mzwa23, very happy to see um, Simpiwa Dana. Lizwi says, happy birthday, WTF to me, anniversary. But why uh, does Glenn Bidem and Pam look like Mr. Bean? I, when I think maybe all Caucasian people look the same to you. These guys don't look the same. But listen, oh my goodness, we've been collecting some of our best moments on the show. But before I show them to you, I would like to invite my beautiful producer to join me up here while we watch these inserts and react. <laughs> this, this is my magic. This is Sivia the Black Rose. Yes, honey. Yeah. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Shamam. Tell, tell me what, if, you, if you've got a highlight of the 100 episodes. Yeah, because you That's jumped in when we were already doing this thing, eh? The highlight is actually today getting a cancellation from Naomi <laughs> and Tiwa Savage literally <laughs> coming <laughs> into our studios are seeing her in the flesh <laughs> and next thing she is gone. I've had the craziest day, guys. Can we cut the cake? And We can cut the, the cake, credit. but let's see uh, our best moments because okay, tonight, you know that. what, we proved we are professionals and we can keep that ball rolling. Let's Check it out. We are not talking about that, okay, but what we will talk about is Farewell Ella Bella, mm. because both of you guys are, uh, are on that movie. Congratulations, it looks amazing. But I would like to play you something uh, from the last time two guests were here from Farewell Ella Bella. This is what happened, no pressure, I'm just <laughs> letting you know. Oh, wow. Mm. Wow. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Wow, wow. Um, yeah, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> we, we start okay, seeing come on. Uh, Come on. That's what happens when... Oh, what? Rivers flowing. <laughs> <laughs> um, so look, it, uh, I said... Sorry, stop us Yeah. I meant that's the Lekhoa. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I mean... Sure. Care, care to... Uh, I mean... I mean... Are we supposed to... Well, uh, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, apparently now it's that... Uh, <laughs> the van, the standard... It's been, it's been said. It's been said. <laughs> it's my first on-screen kiss with a girl. Glenn, okay. breathe. Glenn, okay. it's you, Maria. Glenn, uh, are, are we doing it again? <laughs> Just a small one. Just a small one. Okay. This is no three. Time. No time. time. No time. Two, no time. No time. No time. That's one. Okay. Uh, oh! <laughs> I am still <laughs> shocked by that, uh, that in was, a good way. That was clearly your favorite moment. That was my far. Thank you for playing that hey, for Glenn. me again. I, uh, it's good to refresh uh, the memory. Wow. Some, Sometimes things that happen on this show, I don't even give a go ahead. Like, I just <laughs> see people <laughs> kissing each other on air, and I'm like, what am I going to tell the SABC? Yeah. But yeah, that was cute. That was we amazing. We had to have a, a some more after Silo Mage. Oh, wow. Do we have others? Again. Do we have yeah, other we have another one. Let's okay, see. let's do one more. I'm just going to stop you right over there, Tooms. You know, I always get to say my mega crush Monday. You never, ever have said your mega crush Monday. Have you got a mega crush Monday in any... Way, shape, or form? Knock music. Knock music. Well, that's... Uh, uh, does, your, does your husband know how much you... Because it's quite embarrassing how much you go on about it. I mean... My husband knows how much I love knock music. He's made peace with it. R he's made peace with it? He's made peace with it. Probably because he knows I'll never... You know. And if you met knock music? I would probably faint. <laughs> well, um, there's, a, there's, a, there's something that I might actually want to... <laughs> No, stop it. Please don't mess with me. <laughs> no, stop it. Don't mess with me. Wait, no? wait. Is he here? Please don't. If, if he's here, I will die. Are you here? Tell me now. Is he here? I hope he's not here. Are you going to show me a video of him saying he loves me? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> no. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, husband. <laughs> I got you with that one. <laughs> so I, I'm a producer that listens to her talent. I, Tumi has been going on and on about Anga. And I called him. He's a very good friend of mine. And he was like, of course I'm there. She almost died. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I think we gotta, we got to throw it Let's back. Let's cut the cake. Let's, Let's cut do the, cake. the thing. And you don't have, you have anything to say. Are we still? Can we, can, can we sing? Can we do dance? Do we have a knife? 
Okay, let's dance. We don't have a knife. Okay, we're doing it. Roll the music. The knife can be last go. minute. We're flash mobbing ourselves. Let's do this. Yeah.